Hello, this is Brett Lonsdale from Lightning Tools and this is my two minute video for the European SharePoint conference on how to build a Microsoft Word document with lookups to your external data via Business Connectivity Services. Our agenda within this two minute video is first of all going to see how we can use Microsoft Word with a document in a document library looking up external data from different external data sources such as Oracle or SAP or, or even uh, Microsoft SQL. Within this particular demonstration we're going to be looking up from SAP. Once we've presented the solution we're going to move on to how to build the solution. So we'll start off with a quick build of a document library, create an external data column and use the quick parts within Microsoft Word to build out our document. We'll then move on to what's required, so how to make all of this work, and we'll have a, a quick discussion over business connectivity services, and uh, usually there isn't such a thing as a quick discussion on business connectivity services, so I'll also point you to some more resources on how you can find out more information. So first of all, the solution. The idea being here is that we can use Microsoft Word and look up the external data from any different uh, type of external data source that we like and that will save you from having to re-enter data um, either manually or from copying and pasting between um, external data systems such as CRM systems or websites and that kind of information. Um, it will also enforce data consistency so because there's no typos or, or variations in spellings we'll be able to build better views and also better filters. So before we move on let's jump in and have a look at the solution. So here inside my document library I already have several documents created and these all have information stored against them as metadata uh, coming from an SAP data source so you'll notice that I have uh, the vendor name we've also got the um, address city state etc from each vendor that a document has been created for so what I can do from the files ribbon inside my document library is go down and create a new document as you can see I've got my document information panel at the top which is asking me for the title of the document as you would expect in, in any document created from a document library but we also have all of these other columns that include the, uh, the vendor, uh, the vendor address details and so on. So you'll also notice inside my document that we have these fields which provide me with a lookup to the data and these are known as quick parts and uh, part of those quick parts are also used inside the body of the document as well. So what I could do is go and copy and paste the vendor name, the vendor street, the vendor town, the vendor region and so on but instead of doing that what I can do is just click inside this first field here and that gives me the lookup to the external data. A dialog box is presented and that has a list of all of the information from each vendor from our CRM system so I'm simply able to select the one that I want to use and we'll go with this one here and choose OK and notice that the other fields get populated for me so as I change that notice that the uh, the street address and uh, other information will change along with the vendor name not only that it's also populated the fields uh, that I've specified within my uh, documents metadata as well so I can provide this with a title and save the document so we're going to save that back to the document library I'll close the word document and as we refresh our SharePoint 2013 page we should see there's the uh, the brand new document uh, created a few seconds ago with that information stored against it. So now we can go through and build views and um, our users can filter on the inf information within those views and uh, get a lot more from your SharePoint solution. So how do we build that? Well what I'm going to do here is first of all create a new document library. So I go down to add an app and in my choice of apps I'm going to select the document library app and we'll call this SAP Vendors and I've hit create. So here's the SAP Vendors uh, document library so I'm going to go into that and um, as you can see I've just got the uh, standard 
columns available inside my document library. So I'm going to go to the uh, the library ribbon and I'm going to go through and add a new column. Um, so I'll do that uh, via the library settings. Of course there is the uh, ribbon button that I could have just selected. Um, but I'm going to click on to create column and here in the create column we've got these different types of columns that we can create. So we have single line of text, multiple lines of text, date and time and so on. Uh, so we're going to have this one as SAP Vendor. And I'm going to choose the external data data type. And once I've selected that, it's asking me for an external content type. Now these external content types need to be pre-configured uh, before you can build this solution and that's something that will be uh, highlighting as a high level overview in just a moment. Um, but I've already got mine configured so what I can do is simply select my external content type from the external content type picker and you'll see that there's a number of different external content types that I have some looking up Northwind data from SQL some using employees data from Oracle and I've also got some SAP data available to me also. So I'm going to uh, select my vendors external content type and it asks me which field I would like to store information from so here's a, a list of different columns um, containing the uh, data so I'm going to go with the uh, name one column which has the uh, the company name and there's a number of other columns that I can select as well if I wanted to uh, store those and their information so once that's done, I just simply click on to OK. And let's go back to our document library. And you'll be able to see that we now have that metadata available. So the next step would be to create the document template. Now we could do this on the fly every time we create a new document, or optionally. And what I did was I went through and modified the document template itself, which you'll be able to do um, via the uh, the advanced settings inside the document library. Uh, so what we'll do is just go through and create a new document. So from the files tab I'll uh, click new document and that's given me a bog standard word document completely blank and we've also got the fields along the top there uh, as well. Now first thing to do is to insert the quick parts. So I select the area of the document that I want to insert them in, go to the quick parts button which is under the insert ribbon and under document property you'll be able to see all of the columns available to me from that document library. So I'm going to choose the SAP vendor that's the uh, the initial column that I created and we'll go through and insert the other fields as well as quick parts. Fortunately we can only do one at a time and I realize I've perhaps not done these in order but uh, I'm sure you'll be able to see through that and uh, then we can create our content for our document. Okay, Now that we've done that we'll be able to use this straight away um, or we could obviously work on the document a little bit more save it as a template and then upload that as a template to the document library. Uh, but what I should be able to do now is click onto this lookup button just as we did before and see the data available for selection and that again is populating my columns inside the uh, document. Okay, so that's my uh, solution um, that I wanted to present. Um, how we uh, build it, as I mentioned, we um, ensure that business connectivity services is configured and you have permissions to the external data. Um, but the first thing we did was build out a new document library. We created a new external data column mapping to the external content type and then we built a new document template and used quick parts within Microsoft Word in order to put that data on there. And just a note that Word isn't the only Microsoft Office application that can use uh, external data from business connectivity services. Uh, you'll find that uh, Visio, Visio Studio and uh, Outlook, um, InfoPath and also Excel are other applications that can make use of external data from BCS as well. So what's required? Um, well obviously business connectivity services is required and uh, what you would need to do is create a external content type and that external content type um, describes 
um, how we connect to the external data, what columns we want to make available, and the methods as well in order to retrieve the data. So you'll have things like a uh, get list method which returns all of the data, a get list item which returns just a single row of data, and uh, also some other methods such as the creator, updater, deleter, and so on that allow us to write back to the data source. And what I've shown you here is uh, just a, a very, very small part of what Business Connectivity Services is capable of. Uh, you'd also be able to search that external data. You'd be able to use the uh, external list in order to write back to the data source, as well as the out-of-the-box web parts that allow you to uh, build business data dashboards and, and so on. Uh, the last assumption um, beyond having your external content type created is that all of the permissions to the external content type and also to the external data source are set. Um, so from here, how to uh, how to get started? There is a technet overview of business connectivity services, which you'll find, and here's the uh, the link to it. Um, you'll also find on our website, lightningtools.com, some development tools and also some blogs with some good articles on what is capable or what Business Connectivity Services is capable of. Uh, my Twitter handle is at Brett Lonsdale and you could also have a read of my book that I uh, co-wrote with Penny Coventry from Lightning Tools and also Phil Duffy, a former Lightning Tools employee. Um, although it's a SharePoint 2010 Business Connectivity Services book, a lot of it is relevant in SharePoint 2013 also. Okay, many thanks.